Hey guys, welcome back. Another episode for you. Today I'm talking about the Toro TS120 Competition Advanced Timing System. This is a pretty sweet little speed control from what I'm seeing so far. A lot of good reviews on it. Um, a lot of similarities between the Hobbywing V3.1. However, it is not a V.1. Um, however, I would like to see a comparison of the internals if anybody has one. Uh, so anyway, this is the box. I've already took it out, which I'll show you in a sec, but I just want to go over the specs for those who might not know. Uh, these are some of the stuff that you can get. Optional programming. I do have the program box as well as the Bluetooth module, which both work amazing. haven't tried the Wi-Fi module, which is very similar to the Bluetooth. And the Skylink is the cheapest of the four methods. So here's the specs. I got a new uh, Toro speed control coming, or sorry, uh, motor, it's the S-Pro4 competition censored motor, these are brand new motors from Toro that have just been released last month, I got one on the way, it should be here within about a week, and it's getting directly paired to this speed control, so stay tuned for a good review of those, so white box, I picked up the gold billet aluminum case, Da, 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 da. Here we go. This is all the goodies that it comes with. Now, I'm very impressed with the ESC. Like, look at the motor. Like, the ES. I'm always uh, hacking off my ESC uh, wires here because they're so flipping long. Like, some, some of these ESCs they come on, they're crazy long. So, this one actually is this how long it comes? It's shorter than any of the other ones I've seen. Seems perfect for me. It seems small. Like, it's such a small looking ESC, but. Holy man, is it ever a nice looking little piece of equipment. So you got the dedicated fan port here. Uh, it comes with those funny little plugs on there. However, the cooling, I've already actually picked up a couple fans from Hobby King. And they are direct replace. If you get the one for the turbo, 120 amp ESC, it's a direct re replacement for these. So if you want to pick up some spares, that's possible. Uh, like I said, it's a full complete billet aluminum case. It does come apart. I might take it apart a little later and check out the internals, but as of right now, I'm not too concerned. Yeah. So there's the sensor port, all the wires labeled, A, B, C. Perfect. And soldering everything looks great. It does come with a capacitor, which is nice. This is how they're able to keep some of the size of the unit down. Most units come built in with capacitors attached already. Uh, so these here get soldered onto the negative and positive terminals of the ESC, and that's basically it. I like how I ordered another ESC from them, and they folded their stickers in half. I thought that was dumb, but this time they didn't. So good on you, Toro. And it comes with their standard rainbow wires. I won't be using these specifically because they freaking look like every color under the rainbow. Like I don't know what their thinking is here. Like red and black, that's it. That's all they needed. But, anyway, so I picked up some wiring of my own. Uh, let me see if I can get her here. This is 10 gauge silicone wire, and believe it or not, it's perfect for this speedo. It's a little big, but I don't have to cut it or anything. I'm properly soldered with my station here. I should have no problems uh, making the 10 gauge wire fit into these bullets. So stay tuned for that. I just thought I'd give you a quick little unboxing slash initial thoughts. I will be hooking this up directly to that S-Pro4 motor here shortly, and I will be giving you more uh, info about that, as well as some run videos, overall thoughts. This motor's brand new, so I'm probably one of the first people to test it. Uh, so I'll get you that info as soon as I can. But anyway, this is the speed control. If you're interested in it, there are a couple different forums. One's on RC Tech. A lot of different info, a lot of guys running this, a lot of them like it. Um, as I said before, there is a cheaper model, uh, it's plastic case, it's about 75 bucks. This one's around 100, it comes up to just under 100 bucks. I think I was actually just over, but I'm paying Canadian, so the conversion's a little bit different. But the billet aluminum case, I think, is worth it. How many times have I broken my ESC case on my plastic, like the plastic ESC case? Probably at least three, four times. I bought replacement cases. I've had to glue them back together. It's just a pain in 
the ass, for lack of a better word. So, there you go. It comes with a nice manual. Uh, explains all the timing features and stuff. This thing does have a ton of features. Um, one of the biggest selling features for me uh, was the fact that you can attach the said Bluetooth module to it, wire it wherever you want to in the vehicle, and then uh, you can be running laps on the track, and you go, oh, I want to make some changes, or you want to adjust your boost, or you want to do something, so you just pull the truck over on the side of the track somewhere, pull out your phone, while the Bluetooth module's on in the truck, so you just, boom, connect to it, make the necessary changes, save, off you go. Don't even have to pull the truck in or take the body off, connect a program card, anything. It's all done through the Bluetooth. So Traxxas is just releasing their new stuff to combat this, but uh, SkyRC kind of got the jump on everybody with this technology. Then I think Reventin and now Traxxas are the only three I know of that have it. But pretty, pretty handy stuff. So stay tuned for some more reviews. If you liked the video, give me that thumbs up button. And we hope to see you again, guys. Thanks for watching.